Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rachel from All Things Pins and Disney and today we have another magic mail. So the majority of today's magic mail, there are a ton of pin mail from pin trays that I've done over the last couple of weeks. I've been sort of gathering a bunch of pin trays that I've done online recently to put together for today's or this week's magic mail, I should say. Um, so for the most part, they're all going to be uh, pins that I've gotten through trade. There is one package that isn't a pin mail, but I am excited to share with you. If you watched my previous magic mail, I had purchased a wax seal spoon along with wax seals like the actual beads that you can melt and I actually received not too long ago the custom wax seal that I had placed in order and and ordered on and I'm excited to share with you all because this is something that I will be incorporating in all of my future magic mail which is basically a custom magic mail stamp. So I purchased this from a Etsy seller called Get Marked which I will link down below. It's a little extra but I feel like that's the kind of person I am when it comes to like wanting to make something special but this is what it looks like, well at least the pouch that it comes in. This is, comes in a box. And this is the custom wax seal. It's currently, I believe it's backwards. I don't know if it'll show up on screen, but um, it says magic mail and I will be physically wax sealing all of my packages with this so I just hope that this adds like a little bit something extra special to everyone's magic mail and I'm so excited I can't wait to use this I am going to practice play around with this first just to get used to it and then I will officially be putting this in all of my magic mail packages Alrighty, so that was that. Let's get into all the pin trading that I've done online. Now, all the pin trades I've done was over on Facebook groups. There are, I think, four, a total of four Facebook pin trading groups that I'm a part of, which I'll link all of them down below in case you're interested in joining. But for the most part, I think I did just one pin trade, like a one-on-one -on -one sort of pin trade with um, everyone that, I've, that I'm going to be showing um, today. So the first, I did a trade with Madeline. And for Madeline, I think I traded two pins for her. I got one pin from her, but the other she paid like eight bucks for um, because there wasn't, I believe there was just one pin that I was interested in. In. Yes, so this is from the Princess um, series. You can get this series at the parks, but I did not have Aurora. I forgot exactly what I traded this pin for, but Aurora was one of the pins that I needed in this collection. I think the other two pins that I need now are Moana and Belle. But I do have three of these pins in terms of like three of the pins from this collection that I can trade. I have Mulan, Merida, and Rapunzel that I could trade for the other two that I'm missing. But I'm glad I knocked Aurora out of my ISO. The next trade that I did was with Amy, I believe was her name. Um, so I'm going to open. She did an amazing job packaging this up. Trying to make sure I don't like cut too bad into the packaging. I want to make sure I'm not like cutting something I'm not supposed to cut, if that makes sense. Oh, so cute. She wrote, Rachel, thank you for trading. Have a lovely day. Oh, thank you, Amy, in case you're watching this. But she put a package, but then another package. So in terms of packaging up, making sure that these trade, uh, the, I mean these pins arrive safely. She did an amazing job. <gasps> oh, she, she gave me a little zap. 
Okay, so let me show you the pin that um, I traded with her. I think it had a Lady and the Tramp like open edition park pin that she um, wanted for this pin that I was looking for. Now, I discovered when I got into pin trading, I was late to the game for this particular series, which was like the Hot Cocoa series from 2019, I believe. So there was the Pooh Bear, which is this one, and there's the Cheshire Cat that I am still ISO for, but I'm glad I can knock Pooh Bear out. I think this entire series was super, super cute. So I'm glad I got Pooh Bear. And the zap that she provided, oh, it's this cute, goofy pin. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Amy, so much for providing this zap. This is actually my first zap, so. It's actually a really special pin. I will put on my corkboard for it on display forever. So thank you, Amy. And the next trade I did with Elizabeth, and I believe for Elizabeth I traded one of the Alice teacups, and I think I traded Alice the Alice cup for the. Wow, this pin is a lot bigger than I expected, but it's the bow when they. Uh, Loungefly did these bow series. I got the up one. This is of like Russell Wilderness Explorer uniform and I just think this is such a pretty pin. I hope it's focusing. Yes. But I'm glad this is also a pin that I can finally take off of my ISO. Um, I think they had like a book bag version of his uniform but this out of the two I wanted the bow the most so so happy I have this pin in my collection thank you Elizabeth for the trade and the last pin mail I have today I did a trade with Wanda and you guys this pin again another ISO that I'm happy I'm so happy to finally knock out of my ISO since I was honestly looking for this pin for the longest time but it was either being resold for like a ridiculous amount or people that had it I was just too late to reach out to them it has already either been sold or traded but it's part of the princess cake blind box series which funnily enough I will be doing an unboxing video because I did pick up nine boxes, nine additional boxes of these. I'm still missing um, Snow White and Belle, um, but the one that I traded for, let me get it out of the bag. I got Rapunzel. Wow. Wow, such a pretty pin. This entire series, you guys, honestly, I think this is one of Loungefly's prettiest collection, like mystery pin box collection that they've released so far. I'm so happy I got Rapunzel. This was such a hard pin to track down. And I believe I had a Mulan cake pin that I didn't want, only because I don't collect Mulan, but the person I traded with Wanda, she needed Mulan and she traded the Mulan, uh, traded her Rapunzel for my Mulan cake pin. So I'm happy that trade went through. All right, so that's pretty much it for this week's Magic Mail. It was a very short one, but I wanted to share with you guys all the pin trading that I've done recently. Again, I'll link all the Facebook groups that I'm a part of that I usually do pin trading or I do my pin sales on. Um, usually, sometimes or I would say for the most part, I do post up a lot of the pin sales ahead of time. So for instance, if I'm doing a certain mystery box unboxing, I will have posts of those pins up for sale or for trade on those pin trading groups. And usually the videos, they come out um, a few, several days later, only because I have them scheduled that way. But in case you are interested, definitely 
feel free to join those Facebook groups. Again, they'll be linked down below. You always have to fill out some sort of like questionnaire and the moderator or admins, they'll review and they'll accept you and whatnot. So there's that. I hope you guys enjoy this week's magic mail. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. It really helps out with the channel and subscribe for more magic mail or more Disney content in the future. And I'll see you guys real soon in the next one. Bye guys.